Now at this point you might be asking yourself, why is Spencer taking this perfectly good battery apart? Why are you taking this perfectly good battery apart? Because we want to make smaller batteries that go into other things. <laughs> Tesla Air. <laughs> Tesla Air. <laughs> oh, it's nice and clean in there. Dude, look at how many torque checks there are. <coughs> the green stuff? Yeah. That's somebody saying it hit the torque setting on my tool. I'm verifying. So here's a first gen uh, Tesla battery pack, right? It went from this to this, slightly bigger. That's okay. Yeah, looking good. Keep coming. We at least want to get a level ground. Keep coming. That's good, right there. Go ahead and go down. 300, 300 pounds on each counter. That's yeah. Anthony. It's a structure. How do you take out this thing apart? Um, Supposedly what these things are. These bolts. <laughs> all right. So step one, remove all the screws. You need a 5 16th or 8? 8 millimeter. 8 millimeter? And then, oh yeah, T25. And that'll do most of these screws right here. And then you got a couple of these little security, security torques. We're probably gonna take the grinder to those. Grind. Good pair of vice grips. <laughs> Some patience. Yep. And you can get those out. <laughs> You have those little pucks, uh -huh. and you have to remove those. It's like a bolt inside of a bolt. It takes Allen head. Inception bolt. Oh, Inception it's bolt. a reverse bolt. Uh -huh. Oh, I see. It's actually machined quite well. It's oh. all aluminum. Check it out. It's it's, oh, I see. So it's got a yeah bolt with the inside. Yeah, it's just a... Wow, that's a pretty cool bolt. These are the alignment pins. Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Now at this point you might be asking yourself, why is Spencer taking this perfectly good battery apart? You see, once a Model S is in a crash, it goes to a recycler, car dismantler, and you can buy the battery. And so then you take the individual components inside that battery pack, and then you can put them in cars like this. This is a Porsche. 911 it has 10 model s modules so that's what's going to happen with the insides of that it's going to be put into other projects so then after you take off all the screws we got the fun part you got the fun part chisel. And you gotta pry it out. You don't wanna go too deep because you'll hit the actual, the actual cells. So you just oh. wanna kinda run the perimeter. Just slowly work your way around. These things are glued really tight. Until you can get a bigger tool right. to lift it, right? Like a forklift. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right. oh yeah, those are cells right there already. Too so, close. I'm, I'm, There we go. Nice. Oh, now we got Jenny coolant. Oh, now it's starting to. That's great. That's why we call it uh, Tesla soup. It's starting to. That means I think the we're hitting air bubbles. There's the fuse, 700 volts. So, high voltage. 
Got a shrink tube, ratchet, electrical tape on my socket, rubber gloves, rubber shoes, uh, safety glasses. Something should be taken very seriously. Yeah. Um, almost 400 volts DC. It's not to be messed with. The moment of truth. The module is released from his prison. DMS crap out. Oh, look at that. You need to pull the whole module from these guys. Right, you gotta lift it up. Without, without bending it either, it's a very like fragile area. Yeah. Nice. I don't know if that's how that's done. Well, there's no one is doing this. We're, we're the only ones doing this, right. so. This is how it's done. <laughs> this is how it's done. And so that's how you take a Model S battery apart. And I'm losing my voice. So what can you do with these Tesla modules? Well, you can put them in cars like we do, but since they're 24 volts, you could pair a single module or parallel a few of them to run a 24 volt inverter and get AC power out. You could also run two in series for a 48 volt system. Grid tie or off grid, it doesn't really matter. If you find yourself interested in these modules, contact EV West for more information or click here for current pricing. Anthony, what are you doing on these panels right now? The brackets, they go here. And then we're throwing them up there, right? Yeah. We are going to work on the power wall. We're going to install more of the solar panels up on the roof. Let's go check it out. And here are the cables. Oh. 